Welcome to the Fiberbase webinar series. It's a Fiberbase, fiberoptic.com feature. Uh, today we have our uh, mailbag or uh, open session where uh, questions are emailed in. Um, just for uh, your information, some of the upcoming webinars are uh, next Wednesday, uh, December 5th, we're going to have working with map layers. Um, the week after that, I'll be using map utilities. And then two weeks after that, uh, on December 19th, uh, we're going to do a, a week early for our next open session, our mail bake session. If you want to send any questions in, uh, send them in to Firebase at fiberoptics.com. Uh, same with any topics that you'd like to hear. Um, our January, January webinars, uh, if you could get those uh, into us by uh, December 19th, that'd be great. So uh, today's webinar is an open se session again. And if you have any questions during session, feel free to put them in the comments area in the dashboard, and we'll go ahead and answer those. Uh, we're going to answer the email questions first. So the first question is, I keep loading the same base maps over and over again. Is there a way to load them by default? That's a good question. Uh, and it's fairly easy to uh, set one up. So normally when you uh, open up your map, it uh, has just the uh, uh, default map set up. So what I've done is I've uh, set up one in the uh, Philadelphia area. So I'm just going to open up my recent map snapshots here and take a, a Pennsylvania base map. And so this is the uh, uh, Pittsburgh area. And I'm just going, what I'm going to do in order to set that up as being my default map, I'm going to go in, into Edit, Preferences, and down on the bottom here, it says Default Snapshot. I'm just going to use the current one, uh, hit OK. And so now when I come into the map the next time, you'll see that it comes up with that, um, that map as a default. Uh, one thing that you have to be careful of is that uh, when you're, um, as you're making changes or you're adding things to it, uh, if you save it, anything that you save to it is also going to go on there. So if you are loading um, structures or route segments or cabling on top of it, you want to make sure uh, to save it as a new snapshot if you want to keep this base snapshot clean. Second question. When I have many connections in the connection workplace, I have trouble visualizing a single fiber topology. So this is uh, fairly common, especially if you have a fairly complicated uh, connection workspace setup. So I've got one here. Oh, yeah. So this here is uh, uh, setting up like an Ethernet uh, kind of a, a setup where it's uh, coming from the central office over on the left-hand side, going through several splices uh, out in the field, and then coming out to a residential area and splitting out that signal out to several different homes. So what you can do is I'm going to uh, zoom in on this uh, uh, central office structure where we're uh, uh, sending and receiving the signals. And uh, if you select uh, one of the items, I'm going to pick this orange one here, you can do an insert special connections end to end. And what that does is it selects all the connections um, uh, that that is uh, connected up to. And you can see uh, going from one end to the other exactly uh, which ones are, are related or connected to that. You can also take that and you can send it over to the map if you want, and you want, if you want to see a uh, topological view of it on the map. So I'm going to send that over to the map workspace. And since I've got this Philadelphia area already set up, I should lay it right on top. So you can see uh, here's our uh, central office down here in the uh, uh, lower right lower center, and then it goes up into the residential area up on the top. 
Now, one of the things that uh, you'll notice is that um, if you select items here on the, uh, on the connection workspace, it also highlights it on the map over here. Uh, so if I select, select cables, so I select the cable there. Um, if I select even uh, um, a port inside, it'll select the uh, corresponding structure in there. If I select the uh, fiber that I'm interested in, it'll select that uh, corresponding fiber on the map as well. Uh, another way that you can visualize that uh, topology is if uh, you double click on the uh, fiber itself, it'll bring up uh, our transport topology and it'll highlight the fiber that you selected. So this is coming from the central office on the right hand side. It'd be easier if I flip it so it looks the same as the uh, uh, connection workspace. So this is uh, uh, central office over on the left hand side. Uh, here's the fiber that we selected, and then it goes through all the um, splicing out in the field and then uh, split up to the residential area out, out in the far right side there. Okay, the last question that we had was, how can I change lease to ownership for a whole transport topology? Okay, so let's just uh, take that uh, uh, transport topology that we were just looking at. Yeah, I'll flip that so that we're looking at the same way. Uh, the way I'm flipping the transport topology is there's this uh, little flip button here. You can also do a, a flip layout here in the menus. So it's view, flip, layout. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, let's say that the uh, area is coming uh, prior to uh, going out to the houses are, are the areas that you want to set up as being leased to. So I'm going to take uh, those uh, ports and the fibers and I'm going to send them over to mass change. So these are all the ports and fibers that I had selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the lease to field on it. And uh, you can either uh, pick a business that's already selected, or you can uh, uh, create a new uh, business that that would be your lease to business. And then if you want to see that, uh, currently we're not showing the lease to this. Uh, I'll show you how you uh, show the lease to. I'm going to edit tooltips. And on the port attributes, I'm going to uh, scroll down here to the lease to uh, records. And I'm going to pick the name on that. And I'll also do it on the center attributes here on the conductor. Let's scroll down to the lease to. I might have to reload this. Let's see. I'm going to go back over to uh, open. Repick the topology. Flip it. Then you'll see that the lease to here on the port is a uh, uh, business lease to, which I had named it. And uh, on the fiber, I wonder if I didn't pick that actually. I'm going to pick that at least two names. that over again. I 
you can see that the uh, least two name is showing up on the fiber then at the last item here on the, on the fibers. So those are the questions that were mailed in and it doesn't look like anybody has any questions that they're putting in on the uh, question area as well. So um, I want to thank you for asking your questions and the next webinar will be uh, working with math players December 5th at 3 o'clock. I'll be next Wednesday. If you have any questions that was unanswered, email it to firebase at fiberoptics.com with the mailbag in the subject line. And we should have the January topics up by December 21st. And here's some suggestions that you might uh, want to have for, um, for some topics that you might be interested in. So thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it.